Hai Assalamualaikum So hari ni saya punya Apa Tempat stand untuk ring light dah patah So saya terpaksa Pegang lah kot uh, Itu yang terbaik And then um, Sekejap saya tunggu uh, Siva masuk and Saya tak proper lah nak pegang macam ni Sekejap eh Okay, kita tunggu Siva masuk and kita boleh start kita punya discussion hari ni and okay Siva dah masuk sekejap eh I'm gonna prepare the questions hmm okay wow I'm so excited excited so bad hi my dear Hi, hold on yeah. It's Wow. <laughs> How are you? You know, Paga. I can't see anything. You good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And how is um? Are you uh, are you staying? Come on, yeah. Uh, KL. Oh, I'm, I'm back at home in Selangor. I mean, Semenyi, one of the red zone area. <laughs> it's a red zone area. Ah, it is actually, but. Oh, I, mm. Sorry. Is it okay safe there ataupun macam strict? Um, I think it's okay but you know lah like, people still go out Yeah. Nak beli barang besar, you know <laughs> <laughs> How have, how have you been? Apa dia? How have you been? Oh just nice Um, Like you saw me Instagram just like that normal life <laughs> It's been years huh? Yeah It's so long, tak lama tak jumpa. Oh, sangat, yeah. sangat lama. And I I don't know what's going on on you, what actually happened. But before we start, um, yeah. you know, um, we we actually do a formal IG live like you usually watch before this, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, um, today's topic is like girls talk. So, yep. feminine talk. And I prepare like 10 questions. Wow. Mm. Tak <laughs> Dalam 5 lah, 5 questions. But maybe we can spontaneous question. So, um, first of all, perkenalkan diri. And then, um, uh, then share to people what you do. And then we proceed to. Yeah. Uh, so, my name is Shivashni. I am the same age as Azima. <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> I'm currently pursuing my master's in organic chemistry in oh. UPM. Oh. Yeah, so hoping to finish this year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> life been good. Last year? I should be. I mean, I've been doing lab works, you know, but suddenly COVID came and, you know, PKP and everything has to be stopped. And I do not know how the state of my work back in the lab. So, kalau kena buat balik semua, then that's another story, you know. <laughs> So it depends lah. But you know, life works that way. I hope you graduate uh, earlier. <laughs> I hope so, so I'm so tired of it already at this point. <laughs> How many years? Um, It's been almost three, three years. Three is uh, quite long. Hmm. It's quite long actually. And struggle, okay. Um, two years also struggle for me. I don't know, three years. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, come on. <laughs> what, you what else? What else? What else? Uh, I don't know what to talk about myself. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> a very interesting person. <laughs> I guess I just maybe they don't know about us. Much I'm our childhood. Ah, betul. Uh, yeah, maybe okay. Uh, kawan Azima since we were thirteen, was it thirteen? Yeah. Home one, we were yeah. friends back in MRSM KK. Masa tu cembok lagi. <laughs> I think we had the most horrible state of appearances yes. back in that day. Still, I remember playing guitar dekat Bilik Ayin with yes. Azima. <laughs> oh I to go for charge. Oh, that was nice. Those, those were the days. Those were the days without stress, you know. I think I close with you rather than other, um, you know, in Sam Sam, mostly, um, I, uh, I still friends with them, but more close with you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Because 
I think also because your dad taught us German at one point. Yeah. We used to take German. I don't remember anything. But <laughs> it, was, it was fun. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. It was good days. Oh, uh, you used to be a performer and all. You were amazing. Oh my god. It, whoa, that's, it's like a decade. What? It's 10 years. Back 11. Back. 11, yeah. It's a decade. You can get an award for that. <laughs> a decade, you know. That's long. How 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 have you been? Um, just nice. I'm I'm doing. Uh, actually, I'm working as an auditor. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm. I love to do some part time, like kind of this job business and so on. I love to do that. That's my passion. At first, I think I thought I will be a businesswoman, but you know this kind of current issues and economy we need to work so i just survive by working and at the same time doing business but at the same time i use this platform like social media to do deeds i know i'm busy from morning to late like around 4 a.m i'm quite busy so i don't know what deeds that i want to do so i did this IG live, sharing with people. Mm, I do join charity, but not a lot. Oh, mm. wonderful. Yeah, I did, I did see you on Instagram. <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> you know, just, just struggling to survive. Um, I used to work part-time. Currently, I'm teaching part-time. I oh. am an English teacher. I know, I know you teach piano oh. also. Oh, yeah, I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> You should I know. correct my grammar. <laughs> <I'm not even laughs> no as well. Uh, but I teach music. So you teach yeah. as well. Um, yeah. Teach English. Wow. I, I actually, actually knew you were going to teach music for sure. Because I'm pretty sure you were going to do something with music. Yes. Right? Sure. Since young. Yeah. You know, transition from performer and change into... Um, music and make music at last I, I I saw contribution is the best way you know we yeah, are getting understand. older and we're sometimes we're not really young to relevant in the industry so why not be a teacher it's a good deed as well oh I tell me what when you be a teacher how how it goes and uh, it's so oh. sad hmm. yeah I know I, I I think I started teaching since 21? Wow, okay. 22? Yeah. So, you know, it's hard. Yeah. It depends yeah. on who you're teaching. Yeah, it depends on who <laughs> you're teaching. If you're going to teach totally? kids. Is it totally? Uh, yeah, mostly I teach from the range of like 6 to 15 mm. years old. Mm. So it's like emotion ranges <laughs> very big. <laughs> so you know, you have the ones. Um, what age? I had like three classes. The first time I started teaching, so it was like from one and from three, and also like from four. Oh, you, you know, it was class. It's not a private tuition. Yeah. Oh no, really it was hard. It used to be classes. Yeah, and then you know to control the crowd, especially if you start teaching kids like eight to nine years old or seven, it's not easy to control the crowd. They'll be like jumping around and they can't sit quietly is how you try to interact with them and you know make them sit in a place and learn oh <laughs> but God. now it's uh now I, I teach private class because due to like schedules and also you know I have to balance out between my lab work and also doing some other stuff so of course you know private classes are so much better but you know teaching is always a burden I think I think you could understand that also yeah, that it's if burden. you if you don't do your part you feel like, you know, it's not, it's not fair, the money that you take, that, you know, you have to teach your kids until, I always call them my kids, you know, until, oh. you know, they are good. You know? We already have a kid. <laughs> you, know? you, don't, you don't need to get married for that, you know. <laughs> how many children? Oh, how many children? Well, how many how children? <laughs> how many students that you have? Oh my God. How many students that you have? Um... Depends. Like right now, I have about two, okay. two private classes. Uh, but last time I used to teach about 
20 person per class, 30 person per class. And then sometimes we had seminars, which would include like 150 or 200 students at one time. So it'd be like, it's nice. It's always nice. You, you know, when they come back and say... You an English teacher, you teach them grammar, you teach them literature. Yeah. What else? Are you a, a teach uh, them drama? Acting? No, or it's acting? mostly okay. because, you know, nowadays, let's, let's be honest, parents are very much exam-driven. You know, they just want, I don't know what you do, they always come like, I don't know what you do, teacher, as long as anak saya dapat A, BD, 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 <laughs> anak saya dapat A, best already. So, you're like, okay. You know, you have, one way or another, as much as you want to teach them to become better in English, you also have to focus on the exams because that's what you've been paid to do. So, you know, you, you try to balance out both sometimes. Very good. And the best achievement of students that share with you, can you share? Oh, it's always the best. I've got a few, like a, a, a few, like I would say five to six. Like, teacher, I have put the ones that text me and say, oh or like, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, because I always tell them about stories where I was back, yeah. we were back in. Was emergency? Yeah, we were. So, so I told them about those lives. You were, sorry. Mm. So, you just broke right? my grammar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Oh. Um, I'm proud of I you love too. my friends become a teacher, actually. You know, yeah. Um, Being an educator is a tough job. Definitely. But it's also um, something that people lack nowadays. Teach, but lack of attitude, I think. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Talk about attitude. So, what do you feel that we? This is a girls' talk, so any anything can we can talk, right? So, what yeah. do you think about attitude? So, because you become a teacher and at the same time you become a woman, a lady to nowadays. So, what do you feel about attitude about our generation? Hmm. I think attitude depends on you know people like to classify. Many like to classify. <laughs> Like, oh, this generation attitude is bad. This generation attitude is good. This particular age, that attitude is bad or good. I don't really like to classify people. Mm -hmm. It depends. It really depends. It solely depends. You can have younger people who are as respectful and you can also have like older people who are just as rude, you know. At the end of the day, it's bit back to basics of how you were raised, I guess, or how even if you were raised wrong to one part of your life, mm -hmm. how you change your life or how you change your attitude towards something like you know let's be honest as a woman we are always have to portray this kind of attitude you have to be soft you have to be this you have to be that you know whenever you come out a bit more stronger than a normal woman should be people will be like oh what what you act like a woman like what is a woman what why do you want me to act like a woman i am a woman you know there's no such thing as you have to act like a woman. So I think attitude is really defines a person, whether it's bad or good, also defines on a person. Maybe me being someone who talks strongly about what I believe might seem good to you, but might seem bad to another person. So attitude is really what is acceptable by society is one thing, but what is perceived by another person is another thing, I would say. So, you know, attitude is like, a huge range and I think until now I try my best to change you know from school to now obviously when you were a teenager you all you all have you have messed up attitudes yes, a lot a lot you know everybody that would like to fight right that's true yeah I mean even back in the days we remember that we used to like fight with someone or you know just didn't like someone for the stupidest reasons right mm -hmm. so I guess you know you just grow up and and I think even if you can, you can be 30 or 40 or 50, there's always room for you to keep changing your attitude. You know, there's no such thing as, oh, I'm born this way, I'm rude like this, so I'm not going to change because that's me. It depends on you. If you want to change that particular thing, you can change it, you know. But if you feel like you don't have to change it, then you have to live with the thing that if my attitude is going to be like this, this is the repercussion that I'm going to get from it, you know. And I think... I think it is a very huge topic. <laughs> yeah, it's a very huge. Right? But, yeah. Uh, what's, but what's your opinion? You know, it could be you have your own definition about attitude. Your own. How you define it? 
Yeah. For me, <sighs> wow, attitude. That's a, that's a big topic. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on people, actually. I honestly depends on people. You know, um, I've seen people who have been like. I've known for 20 years, mm-hmm. 15 years, and it's never mm-hmm. changed. And you know people who you've known only for five years, and the next time you see them, they're a whole new person, <laughs> whether mm-hmm. by good or you know, yeah. it's 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 really depends on the person. I think attitude is what pushes you to achieve your goals, your dreams, or to be the person that you want to be, I or the person that. Yeah. You know. Right. Um, a person like me, I change based on my dreams and goals. Or maybe from my mistakes, um, and I watch people success. Maybe inspiration. So I change my attitude. It takes time, but you can yep. see slowly. Yeah, yeah I, I like that. It's serious. <laughs> oh, girls, it is. Yeah. Attitude is so hard to change. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like attitude is the hardest thing to change, especially in me. I am pamara. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Pamara and everything, but it takes time. You know, I became shy and I became a public speaker and I became a debater and I became shy again. You know, it's just like you keep changing. You know, you keep evolving. It's nice. Oh, yeah, I see. I bye. remember you a debater. I remember uh, that. Um, I when you talk all the flashback things and all the memories came back. Oh my God, you a debater? How? Now share to people, um, because we are women, we are girls. Yeah, girls power. How you do the debate? Is it's not easy to debate with a guy. So, it's like feminism things. Um, uh, how how you do that? I would say, you know, I don't I don't really remember back in school, but in, even university, I would say debate or the debate team is one of the most open group of people that I've met. And I've talked with, and it's always nice, you know. People, whether you're a man or a woman, you tend to see things in a different way. One thing that I think, if you are going to be in the debate team, you have to be very open-minded because you have to accept things that normally people won't accept. Maybe don't accept things that people normally would accept. For example, like you know, feminism. Yes. Or supporting certain. You know what? Underprivileged groups. You know. I'm sorry, interrupt you. No worries. Do you remember when we text? Um, and I decided to do this IG live with you, and you, you, you suggest one question, which is feminist. I watched this one movie. It, this movie from uh Indonesia is Java, Javanese, and the title of this movie is Kartini. Okay, woman treat like a slave and. People, uh, men's, you know, men's sex, like kind of that, and they can be, uh, f- they can be a second wife, third wife, or fourth wife. For me, I, it's kind of really, really, you know, like in the box, which I'm speaking and some bit, and I'd like to listen this kind of topic with you, and relate it with the debate, and maybe experience it. You have been debate about this feminist. And I, I really much feel that things in my heart, you know, that sacrifice that woman Kartini, in that movie, she fight through reading. So she has a brother, and her brother give a book, uh, from Belanda, the Turkey, uh, okay, Belanda kan jaja Indonesian. So, um, from that book, she writes an article about um, traditional. At that marriage in Java, so I really appreciate that. From there, she teach women teach uh, teach women how to read, how to educate, how to work, how to speak, how to be stand out. So maybe you can give your opinion and relate with your debate and have maybe your debate. You talk about feminists and you should share, and I want to listen that. I want to hear that. Yeah. Um, you know, in feminism, I think you know it depends on two things. When you are coming on debating part, there's always things that makes you question: Is it something that you want to fight as a human right, or do you want to fight as a woman right? You is know, it different. Yeah, I find it different. Okay. At least in my opinion, it's you know, when it, but it's different. 
it's actually i would say it's very similar obviously you know women are human too but how do you differentiate it? you know like for example maybe you want to put up a status uh, you know a, a, a quota in the parliament you know for women ministers you want a certain quota of ministers in the parliament to be women but how sure are you that the woman that you're going to like just to fill up that particular quota is going to be good to give whatever they can give to the country i'm not saying that the woman is bad but just maybe you know maybe we could just elect women just because they're women not because they're good at it you know that is where you can't you have to differentiate whether are we just fighting for women right or are we fighting for the human in total you know but for me i think many people get this wrong is feminism yeah. they think feminism means i we want to show that women is more powerful than men women is no we just want to be equal we don't want to be put into a stereotype put pressured on you know by the age of 30 for example if you're not married and you're a woman people will be like oh tak kahwin lagi your your oven is going to be overdue or you know, something like that you know but you can be 40 50 men and no one is going to say anything about you if you don't get married and this is the things that i would say feminists want to change and you know i think feminists also don't just you know go attack or try to tackle issues on women we also tackle issues on men like people always see domestic abuse or abuse on women as a very big issue but when a man is being abused by woman you don't really see the same connection that you always feel like he's a man he should stand up for himself that is what i don't believe in so i'm a feminist because i feel like we want to be equal so if a, a woman is being abused and you can fight for that so when a man is being abused fight for the same thing too you know and there's a lot of issues uh, i would say like of course in our country is not as bad is bad <laughs> not as bad but if you go back to saudi arabia you go back to india there's still things like where women can drive women can go out of the house women can buy yeah. their own groceries things that we do on our everyday life we don't even think about it you know but some countries we can just take our book take our phones read something but some countries out there there are still women who can't even have a book for herself they can't even go to school they can't even yeah, read they can't, people always can't read, read. Can't yeah just stay at home do what women should do Like true this. and you know it doesn't include those like genital muti- ma, you know ma, muti- uh, mutation like they, they they try to like you know do things to remove a woman's sexual pleasure in certain countries like africa and all you know there are certain tribes that treat women a certain way like the sex sex slaves even you see in like uh you know agama society or anything those things always the women will be the the most ostracized or the most really badly victimized in that situation the woman is always victimized that's that's what we are fighting for we're not fighting for oh i want to like walk naked on the on the on the road or anything so it's not 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 that you know it's more of like just treat us as equal and i think it's still a far far walk is still you know it's it's very sad to see that it's just so hard to get people to understand just because i'm a woman doesn't mean that i can study just because i'm a woman doesn't mean i i can't be a boss because i will be emotional <laughs> you know those kind of things if you even if you open on twitter you will see people always like oh perempuan kena duduk, duduk dalam dapur je perempuan kena apa nak kena ni perempuan kena masak perempuan kena kahwin aku nak perempuan aku macam ni macam tu macam ni and those kind of expectation put so much on pressure on women itself that me as another woman feel like why jeez just try to be you know try to be understanding try to try to make it fair for people we are not asking to be like we want to be on top of you we want to control you no treat us like you would treat another human being you know and for some people that find treating another woman like a human being is hard something is definitely wrong yeah. <laughs> if you if you think that way you know like you said you know anywhere even in the world women are always the victim of human trafficking sex yeah. slaves so many things you know prostitutions 
jadi keldai dadah so 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 many things and these are the things that we want to try to fight for it you know i think people misunderstand feminism in so many ways or maybe people i don't want to be educated about feminism and i would say if you you know if you're watching this and you feel like oh dia ni cakap entah apa about feminist go and have a read go and have a read maybe read about one or two things then you will understand <laughs> yeah i yeah. agree Mm-hmm. So, um, you know what? When we talk about equality, um, I don't want to touch much about religion. I know, uh, in my religion, teach that we should treat women very, very soft. Men yeah. should treat women soft. You know, maybe in in our religion, not talk about feminists, but it shows that we need to treat women equal. So True. we have. We have a few ayah in our books, like we call it a Quran, and and at the same time in in Kartini movie, that movie that I watch, um, this woman Kartini um, uh, learn with one imam Kiai, uh, in their country called Kiai, we call imam, and she asked one thing, is it true, um, we can learn or read. And that Kiai said yes. Um, in Al Quran, say only men or not only or not women. And the Kiai said, "Ikara baca," and it doesn't mean it. It does not state men or women. So it shows equal. So I'm not. I I'm, I don't really know about feminists. Like you said, people always get it wrong, including me. I still don't understand what is feminist, <laughs> but I know a feminist. It shows um, to stand up women. Maybe they portray it wrong. Maybe some people do it wrong. Some people do it right. But I agree with you, and I respect your belief, which is feminist. We should treat women very good. And I also read a UN speech, the United Nations speech, which is um, oh my God. Uh, Emma Watson, she mm-hmm. said that um, she do she she can't believe that salary for men is different with actors. Yeah. yeah, and and she and I was like, I don't know what is feminist, and I tried to listen what Emma tried to say. When she said that, I was like, oh my god, it's not fair. Why? And it, I'm not trying to. Critics, uh, U.S. Yeah, no, no, all the law, but it's not fair. Uh, yeah, it's it's truly not fair. It, why, why, why you need to different? It, it should be the same. Okay, maybe other. Uh, I've also read few law from other countries. I don't know which. I think U.S. Mm, women should get less salary because they have pregnancy. A lots of MC or cuti or whatever, oh, and I was true. like, "Why? Oh my god!" But I, I feel, I feel grateful that our country, our government, um, still give salary to pregnancy. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I just want to tell you that. So maybe that is give benefit to people who work to government. So which is. I still get grateful, maybe lack of a few things in our government, but I still feel grateful because of that. If our government do the same thing like that, I will, oh my god, I feel mad as well. Why? We are giving, you, giving you birth, giving birth to your son, and <laughs> why you want to cut or serve because of the pregnancy? Oh, that, that's not make sense. Okay, so. I, I, don't, I don't think in Malaysia it's not happening. Um, mm-hmm. There have been statistics actually that maybe in, in government service, of course not, you know, because government service is mostly standardized. But in the private sector, actually, many women who have the same qualification, who is doing the same work as any other man is doing, get paid less than men. And this is a truth even in our country. Sadly, that there has been statistics, yeah. And you know, even when hiring jobs, people who hire jobs, there has been statistics suggesting that employees feel, uh, if you have a man and a woman having the same qualifications, having the same, uh, you know, 
talent and everything, they will still pick the man on the basis of the reason that, oh, this woman, she's going to get married. This woman is married. She's going to have a child. So who's going to do her work when she's on her, you know, labor leave and all the stuff. Even doctors and all, they are being overworked. You know, even when you are pregnant, <laughs> you know, Someone, and people, someone just when, gave a comment. I yeah, that, that, going to that's my sister. <laughs> oh my god! And she asked a question. In your yeah. opinion, do you think men can be feminists too? Wow, that's a really good question. I yes. Have, I don't know. Men have a okay. Women call feminists. I don't know what men call men. Men is. Oh, <laughs> feminists also. Feminists defines as people who fight for female rights, and I would proudly say that my brother-in-law is a feminist, you know. He is very much of a person who fought for my sister, fought for his mother, fought for the woman that he, he you know, it is in his life. And it's very rare to see men like this, which is sad to say. But if you have a man who is a feminist, who understands the concept of feminist, that's a total different story, you know. There's a lot of men who still don't understand what women go through. But there are also men who grow up with women, seeing the pain that a woman goes through as a woman, that makes them be a feminist. And I would say there are many feminist men that I've known as friends. I think you know friends that we know also who would I would say in a heartbeat would protect us women, in a heartbeat would fight for women also. So I think men can be feminists also. The, you know when you are, I just want men to understand that if you are a feminist. It doesn't make you less manly. It doesn't make you less macho. You know, it makes you much more manly. It makes you look so much more better that you understand what another human being is going through, and you want to fight for, you know, a woman, your woman, whoever. But it, yes. it doesn't make it doesn't make you less manly. Right? Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's a lot of people. That's one thing that people feel. You know, a lot of men mis have misconception. You know, if if I'm a feminist, does it make me less of a male? I like no, it doesn't. You know, it's it makes you a much better person. At least you know, in many people's eyes, that means you understand what another person goes through, what pain another person goes through, and you want to fight for it. If that is not a beauty of a human being, I don't know what is. Mm, that's very good. Now we proceed to next question. Okay, my God. Um, I think your sister just said in private sector, almost all women has gone through sexual abuse at least once. Is yeah. It true? Um, I'm not really. Uh, I have experienced work in private sector, but not a long time. Means that maybe like six months and I left. So maybe you can share and. Priya, maybe you can share, and maybe you know your sister very well. Um, is it true? And then I yeah, yeah, but it yeah, it is, it is, it is true actually because uh, my sister is now a stay-at-home wife, which she is having fun with. <laughs> but oh, but you know, she, she was working in a very good company. I would say you know it pays well and stuff like that but she had to stop due to sexual abuse and stuff like that power abuse you know sexual abuse definitely do happen um private sector part time work i've gotten it while working as a part time <laughs> i was doing yeah i was doing a part time survey um i don't want to talk about it much but you know been, been through that also. sexual abuse to a woman no has been no no wonder. Yeah, because you have to go through to understand. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. But when you go through it, you definitely do understand, and you definitely want to fight so that no one else go through the same thing that you do. You know, and sexual abuse is an issue. I say, very rarely addressed in Malaysia, especially because you know we tend to just like close one eye, like Allah tak pula, it's okay. You know, jangan jangan layan, jangan layan. Jangan layan is not the way to go and tell them. It's, it's one way to say, it's okay, buat je lah, tapi dia just tak layan je. No, you should address sexual abuse. And even, you know, a, a lot of places in the world, they don't take sexual abuse as a serious thing. You know, sexual abuse in workplace. As a woman or as a man, 
even as a man can get sexual abused by another man or another woman you know when people start touching you inappropriately or you know without your consent or start talking to you things that you are not comfortable with and you have told them that you're not comfortable with it and they still be like oh ala let ah me main je that's i would say and people always you know close one eye and don't really address the issue it's i think sexual abuse in workplace need to be addressed more prominently but it's always being closed down or hushed by a more severe so called severe issue because people don't see sexual abuse in workplace as an issue until you know it leads to physical abuse then it's where people start taking actions but when it's just stuck at you know verbally speaking or stuff like that people don't really see it as a big issue people just like it's okay you can just let it go you just not you know uh, there's so many things you want to fight for in this world i tell you it's always trying to make the world a better place but yeah. you know if if you are someone with power fight for it because people who are powerless can fight for it but we can't make changes just why oh my god that's really deep oh my god yeah i agree that quotes i want to quote that oh my god <laughs> all right can we proceed to next question yeah It's sure. very very big issue. Oh my god, I got a headache. <laughs> But it's okay. This is girl stuff, okay? All right. Don't worry. We um Instagram have a limit. So, one hour they will give a time. One minute left, they will give a notification. So, we're going to end it's like around one hour, okay? So, okay. next next question is what uh what currently that you want to do in the future? Uh, maybe your intention wow maybe something that you never done or maybe you want to oh my gosh i'm not going i'm not i'm not going to lie to you i have a list of bucket list. <laughs> oh my god it's okay i have a bucket for my bucket list <laughs> you know i just i have so much things i want to do i i you know put aside you know of course you want to get a job after doing your masters yes. and all i i would like to climb up to the top I want to be like pengara or someone who can wow. make change in the I society thought. even if it's just a little bit you know if I can just change even just the workplace that I'm in I'll be very very happy you know but it's it's a long way there it's okay I will not take time <laughs> knitting yes I do love knitting currently I'm knitting but uh I like I, I think there's a lot of things I want to do like scuba diving bungee jumping wow, scuba diving. wow. Like no, it. getting license for scuba diving. Yeah, it's maybe get. Fun. Yeah, I know it's always oh. fun. You know, it's I gonna be tried. useless, of course. I tried once. Really? When I was in UK, yes. When I was in UK, I tried, and it's so hard, and a lot, and it's very expensive. Oh, oh yeah, of course, of course, mm. you know. But it's okay. It, it, you know, nothing is impossible, even though it's expensive, even it's hard. Yep. I have you one work friend. Just uh, this fine. Yeah, I have one friend. She. She did this business scuba diving trip, and you know, uh, she took that license during uh, her study, and after finish the job, uh, um, I'm sorry, after finish the study, she don't she don't get job. She be a trainer scuba diving, and she get a lot of money from that, and she do a business. Wow, I was really inspired, and and I I asked her. Um, you don't want to apply your job based on your study? No, I don't want to. I'm happy. I'm traveling. Okay, no. And she get married. Uh, her husband did the same business with her. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. That's really, really, cool. really cool. Okay, what else? No, of course, of course, of course. Having having a scuba license is not going to do anything for me. But it's just a personal satisfaction. <laughs> Certification, I guess. Uh, you know, maybe get a barista license or so. Oh, oh my god! You want to make your coffee? Yeah, that'd be nice, right? Maybe oh a part-time god, business or something. If you open a business, which is like F and B, don't forget to invite me for your lunch or anything. Coffee. Oh my god! I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really bad at doing business. I have no. I mean, you people who are in the accounting business <laughs> areas, you guys are amazing. I can't do that. I really can't do that. I've tried. I'm like, no, I can't. No, I just find it very difficult. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know? I know. Uh, there's one person say, uh, share with me. 
you know what? Not all people know how to do business, but they know how to yeah, work. True, true, true. And I know I, okay, personally, I know how to do business, but I don't know that actually not everyone know how to do business. I, I, I'm seriously, and I was like, I asked her, is it true? Yes. Not all people know how to do business, but they know how to work. Oh, yep. so you, you need to respect that to people, okay? Some Sometimes, um, I just be honest, I do mistakes. Um, sometimes I don't understand why you don't do business. This is just your money, everyday money that you can get from cash. You know, you don't have to work from monthly salary. Sometimes I, I think about that. I You know, not all people think have the same thinking like me. So from that, from my friends, from my friends, friend's advice i accept that okay yeah that i learn it i learn it very true well. because business includes you know of course of course the money is going to come in but then you have the loss and the stress and if you're going to take care of people who are working under you and so many things so i guess business is definitely not for me i would say <laughs> but you know i can work i can try my best I, I do love customer service too. It's always nice to talk to people. Yeah, I can see that. You talk yeah. a lot. <laughs> I talk a lot. Talk and also being co- confined in the house for 40 plus days is not helping. <laughs> when you become a debater, you are talkative, okay? You are diplomat. It's personality, I think. Is it true? Nah, I guess. But, you know, I'm not really that talkative to people who I don't know. Like, honestly, mm-hmm. if someone comes up to me and like, oh, I know you, I'm like... <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm a friendly person, but I take time to warm up. It depends on people, you know. Immediate okay. of a extrovert and introvert, more of an ambivert, I guess. You know? But I, I know that you, you have always been an extrovert since you were kids. Yeah. 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 I, I agree, but you know, I don't know. I think um my person personality at the first place is introvert. So from time to time. Uh, you know, education and learning process build up my confidence level, and it's automatically become a extrovert. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It shows me a lot. Yeah. Next question. Mm. What do you think about future? Means that future it could be our Earth. You know, like this COVID nineteen. What do you think about Earth? About climate? About changes about culture hmm. about our lifestyle wow i like it <laughs> i saw oh. this question from other ig life and i would take this question <laughs> no. I, want to, I want to ask you future, future is yeah. scary i don't know for for other people but i find the future a very scary place mm. you know because we just <laughs> never know what's gonna happen i think that's the fun of it but also you know people People like me, who is there's there's a lot of people who are have a particularly anxious feeling or a little bit of anxiety of you know where am I going to go in life? What are we going to do in life? Even if I'm going to like survive another thirty forty years, will the earth survive with the amount of climate change that's happening right now? You know, if as you can see, this past few months has been so much more better because I think because everyone has been confined at home. You know, pollution has gone down so much. Yes. Uh, the world is becoming so much better, you know. But it, you know, the 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 year started off with the Australia wildfire, you know, and you see the earth is just depleting with oil and fossils, and you know, a lot of issues. It's scary. I would say it's scary. You do not know how long this earth can, you know, manage to yeah. still or take all that hurt that we are bringing to it. And the fact that we can actually make changes out of it, you know, it's, it's easy for us, the easiest for us is, you know, to not use plastic bags or straws or those kind of stuff. But we are talking about big businesses like the oil production companies. So those are the people who are actually bringing a lot of harm to the earth, like almost 60, 30%, 40%, I would say is from them. If they are not going to make the changes, then what can we as a young you know, the smaller, powerless people can do. It's just the minimum things. You know, at the end of the day, I think it's back to the people who are in power, the back to the people who are on top to change those kind of things. If you are, you have the power to change, but you don't want to change because of money, 
how much can money bring you happiness than protecting the earth to be a much better place, you know. And I would say like, you know, maybe culture-wise, we see cultures dying, we see things, you know, dying off. But I think some cultures need, or some traditions need to be buried, especially the ones that causes harm. You know, you know, back there's a lot of traditions that causes like, you know, mutilations and all those kind of things need to be buried for sure, you know. But there are good traditions that I would say we have to carry it on forward. Yeah, you know, like resting people and all the stuff, you know. And I think I'm just hoping, you know, there's there's like a big, big, big part of me myself that's just hoping that the future the generation that we are going to be the age where we are gonna be the older ones. Oh you my know, god. <laughs> that, <me>. you know, <laughs> the life is gonna be better, you know, people are more nicer to people, you know, people are more accepting, no matter what differences you have. Remember that at the end of the day everyone is a human being. Have that respect. I don't care who you are, you know, whatever your background is. You can be I don't know, an underprivileged, you can be you know, not in the status quo, you can be LGBT, you can be anything. But at the end of the day, back to one thing. You cannot agree with me, I cannot agree with you. But at the end of the day, treat someone just like another human being. You know, don't be mean, don't, don't try to hurt them just because what they believe in or what they are is different from what you are. You know, I think that's one thing that a lot of people forget, especially in social media. People are just rude to each other, like very rude. And you just like, if you guys meet in real life, do you guys speak like this to people? No, I don't huh? think so. I never done that. I never do cyberbullying. Yeah. I never text. I never comment like that. I don't know what it feels, but I know how it feels. Uh, you know, receive I, it. Yeah, I, I I have received it. There are people cyberbully me, make jokes, but you know I'm I don't care because I have that attitude. I don't care. I feel okay with it. But if I have a, you know, some people are sensitive. So I think this kind of sensitive person gonna lead to commit suicide. Yeah, it can. It, it does. Yeah, um, it, it causes people, you know, depression and, you know, people tend to like have self-hate and stuff, you know, being through that, I understand it very much, you know, definitely. But I just wish the world would be a better place. I think that's one thing that everyone wish for. Like people to just be a little bit more understanding. Be a little bit more considerate. It's not really hard. It's not going to cost you any money. You know, just be a little bit more considerate for the next person in front of you. Open the doors for people. Say thank you. Smile. You know, just the very simple basic things that I think people are just losing focus on. It. You know, especially when social media is allowing people to share whatever they want to share. People tend to like, whenever the moment people come out, as the part story A, and another person will be like, oh, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice, but there's always someone who's going to find something bad in it. And you just go like, is it so hard to be nice? You know, be nice or don't say anything at all. That's, uh, that's so very, very, very frustrating to see that in the world these days. Yes, I agree that, you know, when we are already reached at 26 years old, it's not really young age, okay? We already reached like 30 series Another four years, we got a 30 series. So, we should be think like an adult, right? So, my teenage life, my teenage, yeah, my teenage life, trying to teach me. Um, before this, I just speak out what I feel. So, uh, it teach me, you know what? I just be nice. And then, um, forget it and forgive. That's the best way. You know what? True. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's raining. Suddenly, yeah, you know, it's raining. Yeah, it's, it's gonna rain also. Yeah, I can hear thunders from rolling in. <laughs> oh my god! Seems like here. Okay, now we go to the next question. What do you think about this year and others year? Any difference? What for? This what year? Is, yeah. Rather than others year. Rather than before. I, wow. For me, I would say particularly, personally for me this year, 
it has um, it has been difficult still is difficult you know studies there's also issues that i can't address out but you know this issues that you know it's hard to deal with at times you know dealing with a lot of things i think everyone is always dealing with something uh, but you know dealing with people who are very hard to deal with you know um but i think it always gets better i've always tried to see the bright side you know i still have people who i love very much still around with me you know my mom my sister my brother Priya, my brother law right yeah. yeah, wow. and also you know i have good friends i'm blessed you know i'm blessed with that i would say i I'm have very well much to have you yeah. oh my god oh i you know it's so nice to have nice people around It's definitely nice, you know. You know I the point. <laughs> you no, know, I know having that kind of blessed life, and you know this. I've been learning Korean since. I'm not not really learning officially, but I've just tried to pick up Korean here and there. I think like this year, my Korean has become so much better. Oh so it's it's always nice to improve here and there. Uh, yeah. Can. Oh my god. No. <laughs> My sister is here. She's going to like criticize me like horribly because my sister speaks good really good Korean. She got a job because of her Korean also once. Oh really? That's yeah, nice. she's wow. really good. So I always try to communicate with her, talk to her, you know, to just improve my Korean. I think just trying to learn different languages, you know, try to be a polyglot, you know, oh get into all different things. But it's always nice to uh, go there. Saint Mary Gat Sulimiho, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can never find that on the street. That's the point. Oh yeah, I have been there. Um, I went to Myeongdong. Mm, ah, Myeongdong. Mm. So I, I don't, I don't have any chance to meet actor or actress there. <laughs> I don't have. <laughs> Uh, I think I went. I went there when I was twenty one for my twenty first birthday. We actually, I would say, met a good amount of celebrities. Wow! Which is so hilarious, and it was nice because you know we could talk Korean, and you know my sister could talk Korean. It was it was easy to communicate. We 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 met two gagmans, comedians, and we met God Seven in front of JYP I building. I yeah, and we were like just. Screaming and no recording and stuff like that. It's all. Oh, it's it's really nice. You know, you just. I would say it was it was luck. I also met a you. I also saw a YouTuber. You know, it's it's so nice. It was, but of course you don't just like walk down Myeongdong and find Lee Min Ho just standing there. Right? You know, you wish, you wish, but it's nice. You know, planning to go back to Korea soon. Definitely, if I can. Wow, I hope to. <laughs> Don't forget any gift, okay? All right. Yeah, but what? now mm, we gonna we already finished questions, but I want to add on spontaneous question, okay? So, what's your favorite food? This is oh, very personal question. No. You know, I already this know. I I am your dickhead friend, but I do not know what your favorite food. What What is yours? You tell me yours first. Oh my god, it's macaroni cheese. I just be honest. Oh, it's very simple. That is good. Food, Western. If you ask about traditional, I don't know. I I love all Malaysian food. It's ah, that's a, true. I don't know which one is not delicious. I think everything is delicious. I don't know. Malaysians are gifted when when it comes to cooking. You know, I love Gordon Ramsay. So when yeah. I watch when I watch him come to Malaysia, just want to learn how to make curry. I was so shocked. You know, <laughs> I was so shocked. Oh my god. You want to learn how to do curry? You just go to the India. You know, India know how to make very well. Why you want to go? You want to come to Malaysia? Maybe, you know, India in Malaysia is very did it very well rather than um, other countries. I don't know. Yeah. How about you? Me, if you ask me, my favorite food. There's a lot. Honestly, I have. I can't, I can't choose one. But if you ask me what I don't like, I have a list of it. I am a very picky eater. Compared to my size of body, <laughs> I'm a very picky. <laughs> oh like, I don't eat tauke, I don't eat taufu, I don't like kuca, I don't like sushi. There's always issues. But I would say ice cream. Oh, ice cream is my best friend. Wow, ice cream! I you can buy me a tub and I'll finish it in a day. That's What? so bad. Do you know? Um... Nite. As long as it's ice cream. 
love it. Maybe ice cream is fine. I just and mac ice. and cheese of course. Oh my! I love, I love ice cream potong. What we call you call it potong? Ah uh ha -huh. ha! Oh, I love it. Red beans. I love it. Oh my god! Durian. My childhood ice cream. Yep, yeah. yep. yep. Malaysian are very creative making ice cream. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it as well. I just know how to put it in a cup and put it in the freezer. I know it's just done. It's an ice cream. For me, but they they will put a, a chocolate a milk and milk so this on. and that. Yeah, awesome. Whipped cream. On. Yeah, I love it. Okay, um, what I want to ask? Okay, what's your culture that I don't know? Actually, share with me. Share with us. What culture that I don't really know? You guys, and you want to tell? Oh. Wow, is it? Quite hard oh my. Yeah. Oh no! Oh my God! True, true, true. Your sister have a many questions, and I'm gonna ask you after this. Okay. True, be spoken. I don't really know much about my culture. It's not. It's not really know much. I mean, I'm not very well versed. This is so embarrassing. I'm not very well versed as compared to many other people outside. You know, but yeah. What is the one thing my culture? I that think you don't know. Make Malaysian people do. Don't really know, or maybe don't really understand. I think to... oh, okay. a few things that ticks me off, rather rather than don't understand. It's more of like misunderstand. Then when people call, you know, when we have the ring or the black oh, dot, okay. mm -hmm. people always call it nandu nandu. I'm like. Nandi means ketam. Okay, guys. Oh. Nandi means ketam. Oh my god. It's a Why would I put ketam? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It's I, I called... I'm so sorry. I don't know that. But I... I... I you usually heard people say that. But I don't know that. Yeah. Means... Which... You can and always see Indian people getting confused over that and just looking at you like... <laughs> yeah! And it's actually, it's, it's called Pote, Potu. Pardon? Can you P-O-T-U. Pote. P-O-T-U. Pote. Okay. So, it's, it's, it's better if people start using that, but Malaysians always come to me and like, oh, we tak pakai nanda. I'm like, I have no crabs on my family. <laughs> I have no crabs, oh my god. Now it's I know. I feel, you know what? I I love this question. I do not know if I keep... Oh my god, this is the reason why we need to learn each other. <laughs> oh my god. So, I never say it to Indian, okay? I never say Nanda or what. But I, I usually listen to people say that. I want to laugh <laughs> on their face if they say that. Okay? You just um, go like... Yeah, now I know. Thanks to you, Siva. So, you know, it's, it's always funny. Yeah, what I think uh, uh, we always believe that we have the third eye up here, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so in order to like protect our third eye, you know, to so that we don't see things that we don't see, oh. or you know, you know uh, or, or you know, tana bad things come to oh us, you know, just to it's like a shield, I would say. Yeah, but I apparently don't use it often, so I always get scolding from my mom and my auntie, like you have to wear. I'm like. Oh, why not? You know, it's the best idea. Your mom, right? Okay. Yeah, sure, sure, definitely. Okay, Siva. Instagram already gave a notification. You only one minute okay. left. So, um, I, you know what? Uh, I can't ask question. Your sister has sent two questions, um, but we don't have time. No worries. Maybe next time. Um, last question. What's your Last advice you to your friends or maybe people who watch this or maybe your last word. You know, we don't know when we're going to live in this world. Maybe tomorrow is our last day, maybe after this. So what's your last advice or maybe last pesanan and you want to talk to people, tell people or you maybe... Um, I would one, say... One last word. Oh, wow. One last word. Okay. Be nice. One minute after. Be nice, be compassionate, 
love yourself first before loving anyone else. You know, be nice to yourself before being nice to anyone else. Be compassionate to yourself before being compassionate to anyone else. It's okay to make mistakes, but please just improve, but be a better person. Be strong. You know, love yourself. Love the people around you. Spread love. Spread love as much as you can. Okay. Okay, Siva. We're going to end this. Thank you so much. I love you. Welcome. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. You too. We'll talk again soon. Okay. See you all. Bye. Bye.